Welcome to Metro Royale Hero Handbook. Today, we'll be teaching you how to choose the right equipment. In Metro Royale, if you want to be an unstoppable force in every match and return with your pockets full, it's important to choose the right equipment. However, has all kinds of different level weapons and armor. How do you go about choosing the right equipment? When you have plenty of resources available to you, you should choose gear that best suits the map you're on. For example, Arctic Base has a lot of open fields. Bandits, PvE enemies, and bosses there have a lot of health and deal a lot of damage. Therefore, you should go with a level 6 armor to ensure survivability, and take a refined MK14 for its good damage at medium to long range. Pair that with a refined P90 or MG3 to help with close range combat and you'll have all your bases covered. You'll be able to face whatever situation you find yourself in. Misty Port has complex terrain and close combat encounters are common. The bandits, PvE enemies, and bosses don't deal as much damage as they do in Arctic base, so a level five armor will suffice. Pair that with an S12K and a grenade launcher to help you dominate close range battles. Compared to the two previous maps, Supplies are far more scarce in the old blockade zone. A level 4 armor paired with an improved MK14 and M416 is a good cost-effective combination. As for the rookie map, Frontline Confrontation, enemies there are weak and you won't lose your equipment, so you can go with whatever you like. Naturally, once you select your equipment, you have to pair them with equally suitable attachments. Like weapons, attachments are classified into 5 qualities. Damaged, Repaired, Intact, Improved, and Refined. The higher the quality of an attachment, the more effective it is. Therefore, when you have plenty of resources available to you, and you want to improve your equipment's performance, you should pair it with refined attachments. Quality aside, attachments should also be chosen properly. Take the MK14 for example. It has relatively strong recoil and a small magazine capacity. You can improve its performance, with a Sniper Compensator, refined, and a Cheek Pad, refined, to reduce recoil, and use an extended Quick Draw Mag, Snipers, refined, to increase its ammo capacity. Depending on whether you'll encounter enemies underground or elsewhere, you might also use a 4X Scope, 6X Scope, 8X Scope, or Night Vision Goggles. With these, the MK14 will perform at its best. Similarly, Armor attachments should also be chosen to accommodate different playstyles. If you prefer engaging in battles, you can use a steel plate, composite fiberboard, or nylon strap to improve the durability of your vest for stronger defense. If you prefer exploring and opening crates, a tactical backpack and powered exoskeleton can provide more inventory space and decrease the impact of equipment weight. Or maybe you prefer risking it all to get to the radiation zone. In that case, lead-aligned fabric is an absolute necessity. Unlike equipment and attachments, ammo quality is divided into the following. Corroded, normal, polished, high explosive, immolating, and toxic. For regular ammo, in order of weakest to strongest, we have corroded, normal, polished, and high explosive ammo. High explosive ammo can deal up to 70% increased damage and improve armor penetration by 300. It's great against bosses. Immolating and toxic ammo work differently. They add to the damage of polished ammo by inflicting a burn or poison effect on hit enemies, which obstructs their vision in addition to dealing damage over time. It's very effective against other players. That's all for this guide on choosing the right equipment. Equip yourself with the right gear and start exploring Metro Royale now.